78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, Lions Den Boxing Community. For those who don't know, now you know. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. So, Terrence Bud Crawford, the current reigning undisputed welterweight champion of the world, uh, put out on his Twitter, he says he's 180 pounds right now. Woo-wee, 168, not too far out of reach. Okay, so he's letting it be known that he wants this. He wants to move up to 168, okay, um, which kind of makes these reports uh, uh, of him uh, trying to get out of the Earl Spence rematch kind of makes it make sense now. He says, also, I'm moving up to heavyweight. I'm lifting weights now. Y'all really going to be mad. <clears throat> now, he trolling with the heavyweight stuff. But what Terrence Crawford is basically, in essence, saying he probably, he probably ain't gonna give Earl Spence the uh, the rematch at 147. I mean, at, at 154, uh, he probably gonna try to ask make Earl uh, come down to 147. Um, you know, what I mean, Earl's gonna probably say no, and then that that's Terence Crawford's reason to move on from the situation. Uh, or you can look at it this way and say, hey, Crawford being this heavy, there's no way he's gonna go back down to 147. It's just a bluff. Um, you know what I mean? But he really wants to to face face Canelo. Now this is what I'm saying. I have no problem with if Terence Crawford wants to move up to 168 and face Jamel Charlo or Canelo Alvarez, the winner of that fight. I have zero problem with that. It's his career, his life. He deserved to you know do what he want to do, move how he want to move. I get that part of it. My only issue is um, to make sure that the rematch between him and Earl Spence happens at 154 pounds. Terence Crawford is on video. Uh, several times after the fight, uh, saying that he would give Earl Spence the rematch at 154 pounds. He is the one stating that, not me. This is not what the fans demanded from Crawford. We're not trying to tell Crawford what to do. Terrence Crawford himself said on several occasions he's going to uh, give Earl Spence the opportunity to get, get it back at 154, right? Because Earl Spence gave him an opportunity Earl Spence went against his own team to give Crawford an opportunity, so he wants to repay the favor. That's what he said. I didn't say this. That's what he said, okay? So I don't want to hear people coming to my chat, man, Bud don't owe Spence nothing. Man, Bud don't owe – nobody's saying he owe Earl nothing. Terrence Crawford is the one who's saying he owe Earl. You understand? So if uh, this is true and he is uh, going up, if he is according to the reports, he's 180 pounds, that's what he say. <clears throat> so, um, him going to 168 to fight, um, yeah, it's not that far-fetched if, if that's how you want to look at it, uh, Terrence. But it's a big difference uh, from, you know, going to – coming down to 168 for 180 than a guy who's walking around at 205, 210 pounds coming down to 168. Those guys are naturally bigger, naturally heavier. But, hey, it is what it is. Skills pay the bills is what they've been saying. So we'll have a chance to find out, um, and we'll see if Jamel Charlo can defeat Canelo Alvarez. If Jamel Charlo is able to defeat Canelo Alvarez, um, Canelo's going to want a rematch. So Terrence Crawford is just out of luck because he's not going to get the opportunity to fight Canelo or Charlo because um, if Jamel win, it's going to be a rematch for sure. Um, if Canelo wins um, – I have a hard time believing Canelo Alvarez is going to face um, Terrence Crawford and, and, and give Terrence Crawford any of the respect that Earl Spence gave him. I think Canelo is going to smash the gas on Bud. He's going to try to put him in his place. He's going to say, you know, you ain't getting this, you ain't getting that. Canelo don't want to fight Bud. I'm just telling you that right now. Canelo only entertaining the, the whole situation because there's a lot of hype around Terrence Crawford after beating Earl Spence. But Canelo don't want to fight Bud. I mean, this is not – a part of, that's not when, since when had Canelo uh, fought two dudes like Charlo and, and Bud back to back. I mean, since when, bro? It's just not gonna happen. It's all. It's all. This is all. Just, C Crawford is gonna end up chasing Canelo around, begging and begging and begging and looking thirsty. I believe Terence Crawford should focus on the Earl Spence rematch. He beats Earl Spence again. Then you go ahead and, and 
smash the gas on this dude, uh, uh, Zoo's boy, Tim Zoo. Take his belt. That's easy work. You take his belt. By that time, uh, whatever is happening with uh, Jamel Charlo is going to be, that situation is going to be fixed. <clears throat> but with the other sanction bodies, they might take Charlo belts or whatever. We don't know. But there's big fights for Terrence Crawford. And I understand he wants some big fights right now. Uh, he getting his first real taste of fame and um, uh, uh, attention and stuff like that. All the bloggers and uh, um, vloggers, whatever you call them, they want Crawford on their podcast and stuff like that. So this is his first time really opening up and letting people, you know, hear his story and all of that kind of stuff. So he's addicted to the fame a little bit. He likes the attention. Um, and I know he wants those big fights. But in my opinion, Terrence Crawford should focus on Earl Spence. Go ahead and finish that business if, you, if you're if you able to. Because if Earl Spence come back and win the rematch at 154, guess what? You guys just – y'all just landed into a, a major uh, honeypot with that trilogy. You know what I'm saying? Because the first fight was so one-sided. Nobody is going to be picking Earl Spence to win the rematch, right? Except for Earl Spence loyal fans. But the betting odds was already uh, in favor of Terrence Crawford. So the rematch is really going to be in favor of Terrence Crawford. If Earl Spence somehow makes this a competitive fight, wins this fight, uh, however he wins the fight, if Earl Spence is able to do that, then I'm telling you right now, the trilogy is going to be insane. There is going to be an insane amount of money for that trilogy, an insane amount of interest in the trilogy, and that's what I think Terrence Crawford's legacy is. I think his legacy is with Earl Spence. Uh, I know the first fight was easy work, but we don't know how the second fight is going to look. That's why he got to finish the job, finish your plate. If it's that easy, then do it again. You you finna get paid for some easy work then, right? So um, after the Earl Spence saga, you know, you got the option of, uh, you. I mean, you can even flex and make Boots come up. See if Boots call his bluff and see if Boots want to come up to 154 and face you, which I wouldn't, you know I mean? I would rather Boots stay at 147 to dominate, but regardless, you know what I mean? You can even do that. There's big fights for Terrence Crawford without running behind Canelo Alvarez, uh, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know looking like, like, like you need this dude, like you thirsty for this cat or something, you know what I mean? So that's just my opinion. <clears throat> but y'all let me know what y'all think of Terrence Crawford bulking up since the Earl Spence fight. This is his walk around weight, you know what I'm saying? And he, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure he's he's lifting weights. He say he's lifting weights, getting stronger. Earl Spence walk around uh, probably 190, 200 pounds. You know what I mean? So um, these are some big dudes, all right? And it's hard for Terrence Crawford to make 147, and it's very hard for Earl Spence to make 147. This 154 would be a blessing for both of them, in my opinion. And I think we'll see a better fight. 70 Sports TV, salute to the mighty ODBC. Y'all smash the like button, hit the subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I'm up out of here. Deuces.